Hello, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna do another out in the shop. This one's going to be another show and tell about this antique 1900s drill press. Let's get into that. I'm Glenn Olkowski, and you're watching Glenn Now on YouTube. Here it is up here. It's all hand crank. This is my shelf out here. I've got a lot of old stuff. If I have the time, I'll show you some more, some more of the stuff on here. This is all hand fed uh, drill press. Here, let me let me bring it down and I'll show it to you. I don't know if you guys can see that label. Here's another shot of that label. You could kind of read uh, Miller's Falls Company. Miller's Falls, Massachusetts. Patent, February 6, 1900. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, uh, it's a swivel vise. This way. And it swivels. Oh man. This thing is locked. I've never really touched it. It swivels around this way. And <laughs> see it's been around. It has a keyless chuck on it. It's all froze up. If I was to do anything with it, I'd have to take it apart and really soak it in some kind of rust remover. It's my up and down feed. It's really something. So, as I'm turning this, I could down feed it. Let's see, what's it have? It has like a Acme thread back here. Let me bring this a little closer. There's Acme thread in there. Adjust the length of the handle. I believe this thing has two gears, two speeds. I know I was looking at it before. I haven't had this down for a while. And I really, I really like the craftsmanship in this thing. Up, down. That's the up and down feed. And this is where I said, you could extend the handle by loosening this here and just, just extending it, it just slides down. Clamps to the table. Really nice work, I think, for 1900s. Take a look at this uh, picture or painting. It looks more like a painting of uh, the, not the original, but the second uh, factory that was built to manufacture these drill presses and other hand tools. Take a look at this. A little bit of history 
I, I looked up uh, the Miller's Fall Company, the name that's on the little badge or label that's underneath the uh, vice table. Uh, I went to Wikipedia, which is pretty good with their information. And I printed this out because there's no way I'm going to remember all this stuff. <laughs> Here, let, let me get into this a little bit. Uh, it was it was founded back in 1868 in Greenfield, Massachusetts, and uh, that place burnt down. And eventually, three guys got together. Uh, let's see, I got their names down here. Levi Gunn, Charles Amadon, and Henry Pratt got together, built another big factory. That's the painting you just saw. That was back in the, the late 1800s. Uh, and I believe it lasted all the way to like 1932 where it started to change a lot of hands. And I believe that's where this drill press was built in uh, Miller's Falls Manufacturing Company. You could look that up if you'd like. Uh, but that company is still going. The last information I was able to find was in 2002. Ingersoll Rad, and I'm sure everybody heard of their handfuls, they had their hands in uh, owning this company too in the late 2000s, but, uh, or the early 2000s. But this company really has a history. Let's look at what we got here. What I'm gonna try and do is just clean this up a little bit. So, let me get a rag. I wanna clean it up right down here so that I could change it into the other gear. There's a screw right here. One, two, three. It's like for every one revolution I go around with this gear, the spindle spins three times. So let's see what happens if I bring it to the smaller one. It should be more like a one-to-one, -one, maybe. and all this stuff up. Almost. It wants to go, but it can't. All kind of bang marks, big bang marks. There we 
go. It's in the other gear right down here. If you can see where I'm pointing. I'm tighten all this stuff up. Uh, Yeah, it's a one-to-one. One-to-one gear. I like these little wheels. Little wooden handle. Wish I could get this to work. I'd have to soak it. Screws on far enough. Tell you the truth, this does work. As I'm screwing it on this screw, like it lets these jaws, the further I screw it onto this fine thread screw, onto the spindle, the little jaws come out. And I guess that's what that screw is. It's a set screw. Once you get the bit in there, Tighten that, and it should stay where it belongs. Like I said, this is a one-to-one -one now. And this is always, your down feed's always the same. That's pretty cool. glad I live in the 21st century where I don't have to deal with stuff like that every day. Well, I think this thing is pretty cool. One day, uh, maybe we could take the whole thing apart, soak it in some uh, degreaser or something like that. Clean it up to make it easier to move stuff. I, you saw the trouble I had moving it around. But Anyway, I think that's probably all the time I have to keep it in my 15-minute realm that YouTube is asking us to do. And uh, as far as uh, out in the shop, number two, I think that's a wrap. So until next time, enjoy.